I can hear the demons call when they do what they do And now I feel like taking off, find a place with a view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you I know the time can you Is that a banana in your pocket or? <laughs> are you are you just happy to see me? If I lived on the beach, I would have a whole playground like this we have shown you Puka Beach, we have shown you White Beach, and we've shown you Tambisan. But we haven't shown you the back beach. And this beach is unique and it all to itself. Very beautiful. It is, and it's so much more peaceful than a lot of the other beaches, especially like at the White Beach, even though it's still as beautiful. Yeah, beautiful, and there's a ton of parasailers. You can see all the people taking the boat tours. It is absolutely stunning here. And right now, the water is so calm. Right now. If you like collecting shells, this is like the perfect beach because the water is so far out. Yeah, the water is normally quite a bit further. It's usually up here and you have a little bit more sand. But as you see, you can see here, unlike White Beach, it is a little bit different. Um, you can see people out there, they're picking, picking something out of the water. I have a present for you. Not sure what, maybe clams or something? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Maybe tiny crabs. But yeah, see, this, it's so calm that people are easily canoeing and, uh, well, he's standing up in the canoe and paddling. Oh, oh so crystal, is this one. Oh, the crystal uh, the, Yes, kayaks. the crystal canoes, which you will see us doing very, very soon. Uh, we do have it all planned out. I have a present. I have a present for you. For me? Yeah, for you, yeah. Or for everybody else? For you and everybody. It's special. Did you feel special? I felt special. Okay, let's check this place out. So many call it the back beach, but it's Bulabug Beach. And what's unique about this beach also is there is a boardwalk all the way down. This is a relatively new developed area. Very, very pretty, but you can see there was some planning that happened on this and it wasn't something that was built up over time. There's a lot of people playing here. They got this children playing out in this fake grass sort of thing right in front of the surfing school or kite surfing school that's another thing we definitely want to try because we'd love to be flying so most of these buildings aren't actually ready yet but they're so posh looking and you can see when it does open it's gonna be like a hot place to be All the way down the beach, you're gonna find all kinds of brand new hotels, really beautiful ones, and a couple of resorts. Really gorgeous area. Wow. If he's got a halo, I'm standing in the red inside a play phone. Just wanna break no. I'm not gonna give in. Take a last shot, Michael J. Wayne. No, I'm not a robot, I'm in my own skin. Never get lost when thoughts pull you in. I miss the old you. We died with the purpose of the energy around me. Felt nervous, scared I would pop off fast at the surface. Had to cut it up before you made me worthless. Hello. Hi, ladies. Can I ask you what you're looking for? Alipilos? And you can eat them? Yeah, sikat, sikat. Oh, say that again? Sikat, sikat. Sikat, sikat. It's the local Oh, fantastic. And is it normally like this? Or is the water usually higher? Oh no, it's there's, there's time for it that is low. Okay. So it's just low tide right now. All right, and this is the best time to get them. Yep. Otherwise, this is really deep. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Very cool. You wanna see it? Yes, I wanna see it, but I don't know. Like, I can't, if I can't see where I'm walking, I, I get weirded out. I know, I understand. Are you wearing shoes? No. no. Right. Wow. And so the food part is inside. Is exactly oh, there it is. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So, <laughs> yeah, I guess it like oysters maybe or? No, not really. It's not oysters. Uh, seashells. Okay. I meant the taste. Mm, um, it's a different taste from the oyster. This one is like, well, it tastes better. For sure. <laughs> better. Yeah. Okay. We were here yesterday and we, we've been picking up a lot and then we cook it with, uh, what do you call this? Ano ni kalabasa na? Squash. Yeah, squash. Oh, and okay. Then, yeah, it tastes really good. Oh, fantastic. Uh -huh. I'm learning more and more. We live over on Tambisan. Tambisan. Yeah, Tambisan. 
Uh, I'm from Tuluban. Okay. Then my sister is just along the road. She's living here in Dimo. Right. And have you always lived here? Yep, local. Yeah. And race. And you love it here? Oh, of course. <laughs> uh, of course. <laughs> Who doesn't? But do you right? dream of the big city or do you like this life? Um, actually, I just moved in Manila. Oh, you did? Yeah. What part? Uh, QZ, Morato. Okay. And is what do you think of that compared to here? Well, I'm liking it better, you know. Right. Is it because there's more things available? It's not because it's it's a change yeah. for a change. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we're from Canada. Trust yeah. me, we love it here so much. Sorry, what's your name? Michael. I'm Jay. Nice to meet you, Jay. Nice to meet you. So we're from Canada. My wife is over there. She doesn't want to get all. In the... Hello. And so she, we're, we were sick of the snow because yeah. when you live there you and it's freezing here. cold. Yeah, we just moved here two months now. Mm, that's cool. Yeah. And uh, so we're going to live in, in Boracay for one year, mm -hmm. and then we're going to go to another Gawa, park. Shigao, yeah, or Cebu. We'll, Cebu. Maybe live near Cebu. Cebu. That's what we're thinking, but not in Cebu, but just outside. Just... Yeah. But we do a travel vlog like this, mm -hmm. and so we want to be able to go around to different areas. That's amazing. What's yeah. your YouTube channel? Love travel. Love travel. I'll follow you. Fantastic. This place is very, very popular hangout. Always busy. We came here at night before and there were a ton of people there even though other places were empty. They're playing some kind of bowling game over here. That is super cool. I used to play it as a kid. I forget what it's called, but the goal of the game is to get your colored ball uh, to the small white ball that's already in the, in the field. So you roll Do it. Do you know the name of this? Put it in the captions, or not in the captions, put it in the comments below so that we can uh, share every, with everybody. We're not sure. And I guess this guy was a holdout. That's my guess because there's resorts and hotels all the way along. And all of a sudden, you've got this little farm here with some goats. Wow. Yeah. I just prime. And it's prime real estate. There's that restaurant. And then over here is the other resort. Maybe there's big plans that are on hold right now. Goat. Yeah, you will take a goat. Look, there's a baby one all the way over there. Oh, yes. I want a goat. It's just, honestly, those goats are the best lawnmowers and they're free. You know, like no gasoline. So I mean, you goats are them. not free. Of course not. It would become my friend, okay? I know Albanians out here are just like, whoa, okay, you're not going to eat a goat. That's a sin. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, I'm going to have a goat as a pet. Wow. Guaranteed. Even, even cows. Like, come on. Yeah, I know you. What did you just walk in on? I just... I know the saying is get a room, but what do you say for uh, starfish? Look at starfish Look having it. sex. Okay, okay. Since I'm the coolest person in the world, uh, I've just found a starfish. Come look. Come look at my specimen, okay? So he's alive. He was over here. As you can see, there's little star marks in the, in the ground, which is awesome. And look at him move. That is creepy as heck. I've only ever seen dead starfishes that have been like dried out or fossilized. So look at this. Okay, and and for the people, ooh, ooh for the people oh. who are a little like, this is what the inside of a starfish is. Wow. So did you make sure this wasn't a land starfish before you rescued it? Well, we'll I'm, kidding, see. I'm kidding. Hopefully he's okay. Just a little pet. Yeah, just little pets. She likes um, the pet I've, any I've named creature. him Roberto. That's Roberto? Yes, yes Be is. free, Roberto. Be free. Hello. I love Boracay. We go sailing tomorrow. You're going sailing tomorrow? You go sailing every day? Yeah, not uh, every day. You go fishing too or no? Yeah. Oh, nice. And right now you're just repairing the boat? Yeah, but I'm looking. Oh, okay. So you're just supporting it right now. Yeah. Oh, that's good. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's this islet right like an offshoot of the mainland. It's holding on for dear life. If you see that foundation, it's getting eroded like there's no tomorrow. And this resort was the home of Miss Boracay, the Aqua Boracay. A very exclusive resort here on the island.
Who's this? Is that Miss Burke guy right now? 2023. That's right. Wait, well, no, 2022, I guess, because it's because 2023 is going to be a while from now. Oh. So tw we'll do 2022. water is normally up here high enough so you could just like jump in a little bit anyways oh. if i lived on the beach i would have a whole playground like this well i can just imagine that this is not a cheap property to buy right beside aqua who's paying for me yeah who's buying it for me okay all right look at this place it's got a pool that goes down underneath and under there a little wow. dirty right now because nobody's in there and look at that that's so pretty and that's your view Wow. And I like because all the trees are here. It's very shaded. Oh, yes. This is a beautiful place. Hello. <laughs> mm. So the bonus of this place is that if you live here or you're close by, you can ride your bike all through this whole boardwalk. And as you can see, we've been walking for a while. I'm already sweating and there's still more to go. Behind me, a little bit way, a little ways down from the main beach area, you can see what once used to be developed land. Uh, there's a whole building, there's foundational support, like a three story building over there. There's trikes that have gone into the dust and they've got like buildings and lights and there's even a basketball court and it just shows how wild I guess it shows how wild that like you can build something but nature will always reclaim it and you can see it's the, the grass and everything is green and thriving so we're down here at the end of the boardwalk and you can see this whole end here. I don't know what happened if it got uh, reclaimed uh, by the government and made into forest land or something, but they seem to, everything seems kind of abandoned. There are people living in it, but yeah, I think you understand. Um, so anyway, so yeah, like this place is the last place along the way. Like you, say, you can see people's laundry and stuff. Somebody's living in there, but a lot of the lights have already been ripped out of it. This is just rainwater has filled this. And it just kind of seems like it's no longer open or operated. It's really and it yeah, it's really pretty. Again, water's all receded, so normally the water would be all the way up. Um, oh, look at that. There's some stairs going into that island. Oh, I don't have bug spray, but let's go. Okay, I need, oh, I don't need my shoes yet. I'll need my shoes when I get there. All right, we thought it was something, but no, it says uh, no entry area closed, and there's a gate there. So interesting. And normally I guess you have to swim up to it or walk through a lot of water in order to get to this area. Are those turtle shells? Cool. I don't know. Those would be some really big turtles, that's for sure. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> turtles can be whatever size they want, okay? So, as you can see with the water receded here, this area has a lot of greenage here. Mm. I don't really think it's algae because it is plants, by the way, when I was walking in it. So uh, it's obviously very important for the ecological system in order for all the animals that <laughs> feed on it. Yeah, there's some dogs out they in it. They have like it. a private beach on that end. Oh yeah. Okay. Somebody tell me, is this a natural color for a puppy? Hello? Hello puppy! Hi! Hi baby! You look like you fell in a bowl of cotton candy. I forgot about this guy. Look how pretty it is. Can I touch it? So this beach has a much more natural vibe, a very hipster vibe as well. Very relaxed, not very touristy, even though there's the resorts and hotels. It's just not that busy and everybody is just out and enjoying life. I even see a motorbike driving on the beach right now. Not something you'd find on White Beach, that's for sure. We stopped for a drink and some food. We were at Leventon. It says, where the sun rises. And sure enough, that's the view right here. They also have mosquito. Oh, yeah. Pulling. 
that. She likes her homemade mosquito keep away or what do you call that? Repellent. My bad. Anyway, enjoy. Cheers. <laughs> It has a tutu. It has a tutu. Wow. You're so fluffy. All right, check out the food. Look, Look how at well this. presented it is. Yes, and no the fly. chicken curry. Even the flies want it already. And then our view. Yep. Hello. No sunset on this Damn. side of the island. It's on yeah. the other side. But there's dogs, so it's okay. Dogs. Look at this. Making friends. Welcome to Baraka! Really huge. Um, what are you. Avocado. Wait a minute. Avocado! <laughs> it's 30 pesos. And I can't even. My fingers can't go all the way around. So. Is that a banana in your pocket or. Are you, are you just happy to see me? It's a banana. It's a Tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. Guess you try to stay strong and fake a smile until I 